you're going to put Battlefield on the box, it needs to deliver on certain things. The tactics, the destruction, the class, the vehicles, and the scope. So it is a Battlefield game, 100%. But yeah, we're taking it in a whole new direction in terms of what kind of fantasy experience are we delivering. Like, this is a very relatable, easy to understand kind of setting where it's like, oh, cops and criminals, we all played that in the backyard when we were kids. And the game modes are the kind of thing where it's like, go get some of that money. Like, it's something you can really understand and get into, and yet still have the depth for someone who can play it hundreds of hours. We got an RPG! I think everybody knows that at Visceral, single player is close to our, our hearts, and we're developing some really cool stuff on the single player stuff. We're mostly talking about the multiplayer right now because we really want to show people that we've got something really special going on on the multiplayer side as well. But for single player, what we want to really show is like that gray area where it's not the cops aren't all good and the criminals aren't all bad, and you get to see things from both sides of the law. some features, what are some things that we could bring that would be cool in any kind of battlefield, right? Uh, things like the riot shields or the, or the zip line or the grappling hook and all these features that would really be contribute to battlefield no matter what the setting. But what then we also wanted to do was deliver modes and weapons and things that really pay off on that cops and robbers fantasy. What do I want to do as a cop? What do, I, what do I want to do as a criminal? And that's where weapons like tasers and the sawed off shotgun and all these modes that encourage things like car chases or, or heists and stuff all come in to bring out something that feels both uh, new but also brings the, uh, the battlefield expectations as well. The map that we're showing right now, High Tension, is many parts of downtown Los Angeles, from the parking garage to the top of the buildings. It's not a small map by any stretch. But Battlefield, one of the things that it's known for, of course, is the wide variety and big scope. So you need big maps where people can fly and use their vehicles, and then you could also have more small urban assault maps and everything in between. So we're delivering the full scope. We've got maps just as big as what, as what Battlefield has ever done, and we got stuff that's uh, also pretty small and everything in between, so we really get the diversity of the Battlefield experience. Your charge is good! Go, go, go! Uh, no, it's not Battlefield 5. I think we're getting away from the numbers thing. We'll see in the coming years what we decide to do with Battlefield. I think we really need to listen to the fans and see what they think of what we've done here. Hopefully they appreciate it and can kind of get what we're trying to, to give everybody. And then from that, we're going to take that feedback and see how the franchise grows and see what the possibilities are. I think this is a, a feature set and a world in Battlefield that could really translate to a lot of different settings and a lot of different cool stuff. And we don't want to just keep making the same game over and over again. I don't think anybody wants that. So I think there's a lot of possibilities for the future. Is there any reverence to, your, to the original uh, visceral games in the game? Like a small teaser on the wall or something like that? I love that kind of stuff. And yes, yeah. there is absolutely sharp people and fans of Visceral are going to see a lot in our game. Dead Space uh, 5 and 4 are confirmed. Well, we'll see. Man, you're already on to 5. Well, Dead Space is certainly not over. That's something near and dear to our hearts that we'd love to come back to, and we'll see in the future. And when is Battlefield coming out? Uh, this is going to come out October 21st in the, uh, North America and the 24th in Europe. You have the right to remain silent.